I've just gone out of the cinema and seen a movie called Epic Tales, which is directed by David Alux, Eric Tosai, and Jean Francois. And what did I think about this movie? Well, stick around and let's find out. everyone what's going on welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this review yeah i'm not at home at the moment i've just got out in the cinema and i wanted to record my quick thoughts on the movie epic tales now i knew absolutely nothing about this movie going into it except from seeing the movie poster and i tend to found out that it does involve some greek mythology so i thought all right, cool, that's pretty awesome. Because essentially the focus of this movie is all around a mouse called Patty who wants to go on a big grand scale adventure. However, when her city of Yorgos is threatened by Poseidon, they have seven days to resurrect a statue of Poseidon, but she goes out on an adventure with Jason and the Argonauts, which ultimately they have to save the city from being swamped by the water because of Poseidon. So yeah, going into this movie, it includes a really cool voice cast, which include Rob Beckett, Giovanna Fletcher, and Josh Widdicombe. And after finishing the movie, what can I also say about this one? Well, I can say that it's kind of like a cute little fun time for the younger ones, and definitely some themes here and there for adults, but ultimately, I don't think this is going to be a one that is going to be highly memorable. Now, let's go into some positives very quickly of what I liked about this. I will say, with this being a French animation movie, the animation is stunning. Yeah, I think the animation is really, really good. And probably one of the better animations you're going to get, besides kind of like the top tier, like Disney, Pixar, kind of Sony animation that we get. Yeah, this is pretty polished animation. Beautiful to look at. And I really like the music by Olivier Kuzak, which I think is done really well. And I like the kind of like original kind of sound here that's been used, but also the soundtrack that's used and some known songs that we know of, I think fit in quite well at times. And I will say that overall, there is some nice messages to be had here about like an underdog kind of story and also about like a protective father who is Sam the cat as he kind of adopted Patty when she was younger. It, you know, they have a nice relationship and it's all about like having that overprotective parent and the younger one wants to go out on kind of like a big adventure. A story that we've seen multiple times, but it's still a message that can be relayed and can be taken away and can be a positive one. I will also include here that another big part of this movie that I really enjoyed was the kind of Greek and mythology aspect of this movie. I thought that was quite unique and I really wish that they honed into that more. Now, besides all that, where I would say I go into my negatives here is this is definitely a movie for kids but also for adults at times. I don't know if this movie knows who its target audience wants to be. Because for example, there's a reference here in the movie taken directly from these characters that are literally from The Godfather and like the names of The Godfather movie. Now obviously a little kid hasn't seen The Godfather so they're probably not going to get that reference and I was kind of like, well, why is that in this movie? Especially when it's tailored for kids. It was a little bit confusing. And like the A-Team thing song as well. Have kids seen the A-Team? <laughs> I don't know if they have. And I was like, yeah, the couple of the music choices or maybe like some of the directing choices and script writing here. I was a bit all over the place at times. So I found myself sometimes invested in the adult moments. And then it kind of like tried to dumb itself down for kids where it has like some kind of, you know, underwear fall down kind of moment, you know, kind of stuff like that you've seen in animation before. So this movie is a little bit choppy because it's like, okay, well, little kids, I think, will enjoy this more. And I know I'm not exactly the target audience. But then if you're taking your kids to see this, a couple of adults when I was walking out of this said, oh, yeah, I actually really enjoyed that. And then some of them, you know, didn't really say anything or they were on the phones in this movie. So it's going to be one of those where I think it will definitely be targeted for audience. Some adults can definitely find enjoyment from this. Unfortunately for me, I can see it was all right. It's not going to be one that I would rush back and rewatch at any time soon or anything. But I can't say that I hated the movie. So with that in mind, my overall score for Epic Tales is a 2.5. 
out of five stars. Also, just to make you aware, stick around to after the movie. It's only about like a minute after like some credits start rolling. There's kind of like a little kind of post credit kind of scene to be had. I uh, definitely involves the movie and I'm not going to say much more than that. So if you've enjoyed the review, give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel by pressing the red button down below so i can see you again on a future video also if you're unaware i do have a patreon i have a couple of tiers you can select from which starts from two pounds per month and these tiers do include like early videos my release schedules and see what goes on to the channel you can actually pick out movies for me to review there's so much stuff to find out about my patreon the link is down below in the description box if you want to check out more and i want to give a big special thank you to all my awesome patrons who help support the channel and thank you for taking your own time out to check out this review and until the next time i see you i'll be seeing you later